Hello everyone! Today I have for you two recipes for homemade perfumes made from jojoba oil and essential oils. Many branded perfumes available on the market can be very pricey and not everyone can afford them. They may contain chemical substances and synthetic fragrances that are harmful to our body. Jojoba oil used as a carrier oil in natural perfumes production is not as volatile as alcohol-based perfumes and it makes the perfume last longer. Another thing is that jojoba oil is odorless, which makes it a good base for essential oils. The oil is also light and is absorbed quickly without leaving any greasy or sticky layer on the skin. Oil-based perfume also moisturizes the skin, unlike alcohol ones, which can dry the skin out. The content of essential oils in perfumes should be between 15 to 30 percent. If you have sensitive skin, use 15 percent of essential oils. The concentration of 30 percent of essential oils will create the most stable fragrance composition that will stay on the skin for the longer time. However, the concentration should be not more than 30 percent because essential oils, even if natural, are highly concentrated and in large quantities can have an irritating and allergic effect. The fragrance in perfumes is divided into three main fragrance notes. The first one is the base note, which lasts the longest on the skin and is noticeable up to six hours or even more. Base notes include earthy, woody and sweet scents. Examples are cedar oil, vetiver, ginger, cinnamon, sandalwood or vanilla. The middle note, called heart note, is the core of the fragrance and we can smell it about 10 to 20 minutes after application. It includes herbal and floral scents like pine, sage, geranium, jasmine, rose. The last top note, called head note, is noticeable immediately after application and usually evaporates quickly. Top notes include citrus scents, but also herbal scents such as basil, lemongrass, eucalyptus. However, the fragrance notes are not fully defined and depending on the source, essential oils are located in different groups. For example, I found vanilla as a base note in one source, but in another one was classified as a top note. Cedar or cinnamon scents were classified as base notes, in another source they were classified as hard notes. Therefore, when producing my own perfumes, I'm acting mainly by intuition and knowing more or less what finite fragrance I want to achieve, I combine the essential oils together. Trying different compositions and experimenting with the amount of individual essential oils, in my opinion, is the key to success. I like perfumes that have a spicy, earthy and masculine scent, but at the same time are sweet with floral and citrus notes. The perfume that I was able to make can be used for both men and women, but in the case of women I think more like evening time. To make 10 ml of perfume I use 40 drops of essential oils, 20% concentration. For sensitive skin use a maximum of 30 drops. I added 8 drops of vetiver essential oil to a clean and dry bottle. By the way, I am in love with this essential oil. It can be a great perfume on its own and it gives the masculine scent. The fragrance is fresh and stimulating. Then I added 8 drops of rosewood essential oil, 2 drops of vanilla essential oil, 8 drops of sage essential oil, 8 drops of sweet orange essential oil, and 6 drops of lemon essential oil. Mix the oils by shaking the bottle and then add base oil, which is jojoba oil in my case. I added a drop of vitamin E to protect the oils from rancidity. I used a bottle with a roller for an easier application. If you don't have this kind of bottle, you can use a small dropper bottle. After the perfume is done, it is good to put in a dark place for a few hours, even better for a few days. During this time the compounds mix with each other and the fragrance mature. Almost the same combination of essential oils but in different proportions will give us the delicate and fresh floral and citrus scent. You can find the recipe in the description box down below the video. 
Another perfume proposition is quite intense but more spicy compared to the first one. And as the first perfume is just perfect for me, here I'm not exactly convinced with this fragrance. Although, according to some other people's opinion, those perfumes are nicer than those from the first recipe. Well, a matter of taste. After about 20 minutes, the scent becomes more floral and sweet, and in this version is more pleasant for me. To make them, I use 6 drops of vetiver essential oil, 5 drops of black pepper essential oil, 7 drops of lavender essential oil, 3 drops of geranium essential oil, 2 drops of ylang ylang essential oil, 2 drops of rose essential oil, 3 drops of jasmine essential oil, 8 drops of lemon essential oil, and 4 drops of sage essential oil. Mix the oils together and fill the bottle with the base oil. For this perfume, I used a clear glass bottle because I decided to decorate it with dry lavender flowers. You can choose other flowers as well. Perfumes decorated in this way can also be a great gift idea. Let me know if you like oil-based perfumes and what are your favorite compositions. I'm also curious what base oil you use. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!